हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी सैमसंग गैलेक्सी टैब एस नाइन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट 15 बेस्ट फीचर्स फॉर दिस टैबलेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट the first feature is about multitasking so here i start taking my notes but i want to open another app i will open this edge panel and then i will just drag and drop this notion app here in split screen now i want this notion app to write for me so i will use this notion ai and then for example i want to write about brain health i will give it a command and then i will just send it like this so the notion ai will start writing for me now i want this information in my notes so what i will do i will just open the air command and then i will use this smart select tool so i will just select it and now i will start selecting this part of notion so i will just select it like this now i want this part in my notes i will use my s pen i will just press and hold it like this and i can just drag here in my notes and then if you want you can change its size and if you want you can also highlight it the next thing is you can can use another app for example this time i want microsoft math solver so i will just open this math solver here in split screen now i will use my s pen for example i will write here 2x square plus 2x then it will convert it neat for me and then i will go for the solution now here it will show me the solution and here are solution steps now again i will use this air command tool so i will just select it and then i will select this smart select option and then i will select this part of microsoft math solver now i can also drag it in my notes so i will just use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i will drag here in my notes you can also bring any image directly from your browser into your notes so i will open the internet browser this time so i will drag and drop here so i will open this website and now for example i want this image into my notes so i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i can drag here in my notes the next thing is you can also bring text directly from a website into notes for example i want this text into my notes i will press and hold it like this use my s pen and then simply i can just drag and drop into my notes the next thing is you can open one more app in split screen so i will use this task bar and for example i want to open galaxy store so i can open here in split screen now you can see i have three different apps working at the same time now i can resize them so here you can see i can resize them and i can also rotate them so here you you can see i can rotate them and the next thing is you can also make your favorite app combo so for example i want to make the favorite app combo with these three apps so again i select these three dots and here is the star icon and then i can add app pair to taskbar so here you can see now this app pair add to my taskbar if i want to open it i can just select from here the app pair directly open the next feature is about samsung ecosystem so whatever i copy on my phone it will be be available on my tab s9 as well for example i will take out the edge panel on my tablet and then i will scroll to the clipboard so you can see the clipboard is currently empty now i will open a website on my phone for example i open this website and here i like this image so i want to copy this image so i will press and hold it like this and then i will select this option of copy image so the image is now copied now i will take out the edge panel on my tablet and you can see this same image is now available here on my tab clipboard as well i can use this image for example i open samsung notes and then i will just press and hold it like this and then i can drag it like that and i can also change its size the next thing is you can also control your phone from your tablet as well so you can use samsung flow and now for example you want to turn on your phone camera so you can turn on from your tablet you can put your phone in another room and you can see what's going on in another room and you can do your important task on your tablet as well the next feature is about book reading so if you want to 
रीड फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू कैन यूज द आई कम्फर्ट शील्ड ऑप्शन सो जस्ट ब्रिंग डाउन दिस क्विक पैनल एंड देन फ्रॉम हेयर यू सी दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ आई कम्फर्ट शील्ड जस्ट प्रेस एंड होल्ड इट लाइक दिस एंड देन हेयर यू कैन टर्न इट ऑन एंड देन यू कैन कस्टमाइज द कलर टेम्परेचर सो हेयर यू कैन सी आई कैन चेंज द कलर टेम्परेचर अकॉर्डिंग टू माई नीड्स सो दिस विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ time the next feature is about screen recording so if you are having a lecture and you want to take notes in the meantime use your s pen button and tap on the screen two times like this it will open the note taking app and here you can start taking notes now you can see this app is blocking the view behind so just select this blue bar and then select this opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes the next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video so just bring down this quick panel and then from here you see this option of screen recorder just select it and then from here you can start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start now you can take notes and your video is also recorded the next thing is you can also use this pen tool from the screen recorder if you want to highlight something important in your video so for For example, if I want to highlight something in my notes, I can also use it. The next thing is you can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera option. Just select it. So now my front camera is open, and now I can also use it in my screen recording. Once you finish with everything, just select this stop from here, and then your screen recording will save in your gallery. So later you can access it and you can share it with your friends or with your colleagues. The next feature is about S Pen. So you can attach your S Pen at the back side, or you can also change its position so it will start charging. You can also put your S Pen on top of your tablet like this, and it will attach magnetically. The next thing is you can use your S Pen as a remote control. For example, if I press and hold my S Pen button, it will turn on the camera. Now, if you want to switch to the front camera, you will do this air gesture, and it will turn on the front camera. Now, if you want to take the picture again press this s pen button and it will take the picture for you now if you want to switch to the video mode just press your s pen button and then just do this air gesture so it will turn on the video mode now if you want to record this video again press your s pen button and it will start the video recording and once you finish with your recording again press your s pen button and it will stop your recording so guys this s pen has a lot of functionality i will make a separate video you about it the next feature is about note taking so you can use samsung notes for note taking and it has all the necessary tools for example if you want to use this shape tool so if you create any shape it will make it neat for you then if you want to use this s pen to text tool so whatever you write it will convert it into the text you can also do the pdf annotations for example if i go back i select this pdf plus icon and then i will open this pdf file. so here is my pdf file now i can use highlighter tool i can use this pen tool if you want to write something then if you want to add or delete pages you can also do it just select this page sorter option now here i have all pages of my pdf for example i want to insert a new page after the second page i select these three dots and here is the add page option so i will just select this add page then i select any page and then you can see a new page is added and here i can do all my annotations you can also use another app name of the app is good notes so this app is pre installed in this tablet so here if i just select this new option then i select this quick note so here you will see you have all necessary tool available for all your note taking needs so here you can see we have this pen tool there are different pen option we have this highlighter tool then we have this shape tool if you want to make shapes so all the necessary tools available the next feature is about Samsung Dex so if you want to have a desktop experience you can use the Samsung Dex so here you will get complete desktop layout so you have your taskbar and your apps over here now you can open multiple apps in Samsung Dex you can also resize these apps so here you can see i am opening multiple apps and then if i want to resize i can also resize them if i want to minimize them so here you can see i can minimize them to my taskbar so if you want to access more
more apps just select these dots and here you have all your apps the next thing is for example if you want to take the screenshot you have this screenshot button you can take the screenshot from here the next thing is you can also attach your keyboard to have a complete desktop experience so if you finish with your decks just select this exit decks option and it will take you back to the normal tablet mode the next feature is about study mode. So if I turn on the study mode, everything become grayscale, notifications will turn off and restriction apply on some apps. I can only use the apps that are related to my studies. So this will be really helpful if you want to focus on your study. If I turn off the study mode, everything go back to the normal mode. So how to enable the study mode? Just go to the settings and then select this modes and routines. Once you open modes and routines, just scroll down and here you see this option of add mode. Just select it. Once you select it, here you can give it any name and here you can do all your study mode customizations. The next feature is about S Pen to text. For example, I open Google and here I want to search something. I can use my S Pen to write here. So for example, I will write here brain anatomy. So here you will see it will convert it into the text and then I can start searching it. So I will just select this Google search and here it will give me the results. Same way I can open a website. So I will just select this URL section and then here I will write with my S Pen. For example, I will write here samsung.com. So here you can see it will convert it into the text. Then I select this go option and it will open the Samsung website for me. The next feature is about fingerprint sensor. So in tab S9, there is optical fingerprint scanner embedded into the screen. So if I just use this scanner, so you can see it is very fast and it will unlock the tablet. You can also use your S Pen to unlock the tablet. So for example, I will lock my tablet and then I will use my S Pen button. So I will just press it like this and you can see the tablet is unlocked and it will also bypass the security. If you want to disable this function, you can also do it by just going into the S Pen settings. The next feature is about gaming. So with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, the gaming experience is really amazing. And this tablet has dynamic AMOLED 2X display with 120 Hz refresh rate. So here you can see everything is going pretty smoothly. So you can see there is no lag. So you can see the next feature is about expandable storage. So you can extend the memory of your tablet by using the SD card. You can also transfer some specific apps to your SD card as well. This tablet support 45 watt fast charging. So it will take one and a half hour for a complete charge. So guys, this tablet support four year of Android update and five year of security update. The next feature is about screen time goal. So you can set a screen time goal by yourself so here you can see I can select any time from here and once I finish I can press done if I go back here it will show me the app timers and on right side it is showing me the driving monitor walking monitor and volume monitor so this will be really helpful for digital well-being so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much